Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley and this is Bliss Studio Hobbies. So at the time that I publish this video on February 25th, it will be my one year YouTube anniversary. Yes, so one year ago on February 25th of 2022, I started my YouTube journey. And it has been one year. It has been one fun year. And I thought to celebrate that year, I could show you guys the diamond paintings that I completed before I started YouTube. So before I started YouTube, I have 64 diamond paintings completed. So I'm going to go through those diamond paintings and show you them one by one. I did put them in order of uh, number. Like if I purchase one from this company, then they'll go first, two, three, and so on and so forth. So the last company will be Diamond Art Club because I finished the most diamond paintings from them before I started YouTube. Um, I did want to give like a disclaimer because when I first started diamond painting like two years ago, I did not know much about legal licensing and all of that stuff. So a few like I don't know. So I purchased a couple of kits from Amazon. Um, Some of them I have looked up and I've been lucky enough to not have a legal licensing issue. But one of them I did not look up, so I'm not quite sure. I will put it on the screen when I show that diamond painting if it's legally licensed. But now that I started um, recording, um, <laughs> I realized I should have looked up that last one to see if it was like stolen artwork. I don't believe so, but I will look it up just in case, just to let you guys know. Um, also, I will not be able to link all of these diamond paintings in the description box down below because there's 64 of them. Um, so I will give you uh, the company and the name of the kit. Um, if the kit has the artist and um, the dimensions on it, I'll give you that as well. I will not be able to go into grave detail about each kit because some of these I completed two years ago and I wasn't like really tracking a lot of things at that time. So I don't quite remember like all the details of the kit, but Thank you guys for joining me. Thank you for being here for one year. Um, it has been quite a road. It has been fun. Um, and I'm just so happy that um, I made it to my one year. So yeah, the first kit that I'm going to show you guys is from Crystal Canvas Art Design. This is Flamin' Gerbera Daisy. It is a 30 by 50 centimeter diamond painting with all special drill. So Crystal Canvas Art Designs, they uh, specialize in full drill diamond paintings. So I thought this was really pretty. You know I love diamond painting flowers. I think this turned out really pretty. Love all the sparkles and the crystals, the reds and the yellows and the orange. So I think it turned out pretty good. Love it. It's only 13 colors in this kit and look at it. It's so pretty. You can see sometimes with crystals you lose a little bit of detail but I think there's a, a perfect amount of detail and I just think it turned out really nice. I do not know if this canvas is still available. I did just purchase things from them and I was on the website but I don't remember seeing this. So check out their company. They have full rhinestone kits. I only completed one canvas for them before I started YouTube and this is it. Flame and Gerbera Daisy. All right so the second company that I completed one kit from is Coltart. So this is the Love Diamond Painting with all those colors. It's from Coltart on Amazon. Um, I think it's really cute, turned out cute. Of course, I believe this one was quick to work up. It's a lot of color blocking. I think it's pretty cute, love. Um, this is a 16 by 20 inch diamond painting and it's round drill, so pretty. This one has 30 colors, 30 colors of fun. Next is Baby Fox from Run Far. Run Far is on Amazon. <laughs> Look how cute this little baby fox is. Now I did this early in my diamond painting journey. So there is lots of gapping and this is one of the diamond paintings that I completed and that I realized I did not like diamond paintings with white backgrounds. <laughs> so I like stopped purchasing white backgrounds for quite a while because it really bothered me. Now it doesn't bother me so much because I know like diamond paintings, you look at them from further back and not close up. But this, this, but yeah, this little fox is cute. I completed it early in my diamond painting journey. There's lots of unneeded confetti in this diamond painting, as you guys probably can see on the camera, but I think he turned out cute. Um, this is 25 colors. It's a 40 by 50 centimeter square diamond painting with 25 colors. 
baby fox from Rumfar. All right, this is Raccoon Flower from Shop Any Deals. I think this turned out so cute um, with the purple succulents and then that little raccoon hiding. I'm terrified of raccoons, by the way, but I thought this was really cute. This is a 30 by 40 centimeter round diamond painting with 19 colors. I do remember on this canvas, the canvas wasn't as sticky as it should have been when I was diamond painting. And now that I've stored it, see, a diamond just came off on my finger. I was going to say, now that I stored it, no diamonds are coming off, but one just came off on my hand. So yeah, the glue wasn't as sticky as it should have been. Where did this come from? One moment, please. So yeah, the canvas wasn't as sticky as I am used to. This was early in my diamond painting game. I didn't even use washi tape at that point. But this is one of the canvases that kind of got dirty around the edge. And then I'm like, yeah, I need to start using, uh, find a solution. And then I found out about the washi tape and I started using it. But yeah, Shop Any Deals. This is Raccoon Flower, 30 by 40, 19 colors. Isn't it cute? All right, so the next company is Craftably, one of my favorite companies. I completed three diamond paintings from Craftably before I started YouTube. Oh my gosh, look how cute this one is. Um, this is Sweet Isabella by Jasmine Beckett Griffith. I thought it was so, so sweet, especially with the butterfly wings. I think it turned out great. Of course, this one won't fit in the camera, so I will give you a full image of the painting here. Just so you guys can see how cute this is. This is a 20 by 28 inch diamond painting with 56 colors. They have 56 colors and one, two, three ABs and one rhinestone. So right off the bat, I see the white ABs here, purple ABs here, and yellow ABs, and then that rhinestone. Oh, these white ABs are so pretty. So pretty in that wing. I really, really love this diamond painting. I did complete this diamond painting for um, Drills and Chills Halloween event. I do remember that. Oh, the special drills. Do you guys see the special drills here? The pink, the rhinestones. So cute. Love this painting. So, so cute. Sweet Isabella from Craftably. My next diamond painting from Craftably is this one. So adorable. Language of Flowers 5. Again, this one is by Jasmine Beckett Griffith as well. This is just a stunning diamond painting and I love the way it turned out. You know, guys, going through all of my diamond paintings and seeing what I completed, it was like so satisfying for me. And the reason why I decided to do a video like this showing all of my diamond paintings is because I really enjoy doing it for the 2022 year in review and I really enjoy watching and seeing what other people completed last year so I'm like let me just show them the diamond paintings that I completed before so this diamond painting is a 20 by 28 inch round diamond painting same size as the other one we have one two three ab's and one rhinestone so the rhinestone here is like this yellow orange looking rhinestone I think it's orange orange looking rhinestone here in the flowers but isn't this so stunning I've seen tons of people complete this and I'm just amazed each time. I love it. Jasmine Beckett Griffith, Griffith has some pretty awesome artwork. Language of Flowers 5. All right, the last diamond painting that I completed did it from Craftably before I started YouTube is Be Brave. Look how beautiful this image is. I am just blown away by the artwork. I really enjoyed working on this. This is also, this is a square diamond painting. It's by Sarah Burrier. It is a 28 by 20 inch diamond painting with 51 colors and three ABs. I just think it's so beautiful. This is another large one that I'm not gonna be able to fit into camera. So I will take a picture of it and put the full image into the screen. I really love this. I love how they charted the skin color. They got it right on point. Love, love, love it. Sarah Burrier has some really pretty artwork. I have several of her diamond paintings from Craftably and I found out about her artwork from Craftably. So yeah, this is the third diamond painting that I completed from Craftably. Be Brave by Sarah Burrier. 
So Distracted by Diamonds is our next company. I completed two from them before my YouTube journey. This is the first one, Neon. <laughs> this is so beautiful. Neon from Geneva Bowers, one of my favorite artists. This diamond painting is a 52 by 56 centimeter round diamond painting with 34 colors. I love the color of the background and look at her hair. All those ABs through there, so, so pretty. I just love it. The next diamond painting is another Geneva Bowers canvas from Distracted by Diamonds. This is Plant Witch. I did do this one for the Festival of Witches event. I think it came out so cute. Look at her green lips. I love her little hat with all the flowers. So, so pretty. This is another one of those large canvases. I realized that before I started YouTube, I did quite a few larger canvases. I did. So pretty. Love the way it turned out. This is a, let's see, 52 by 64 centimeter round diamond painting with 40 colors. Plant Witch by Geneva Bowers and Distracted by Diamonds. All right, so the next company is Dreamer Designs. I completed two from Dreamer Designs. This is Butterfly Orchid Fantasy. This is a 30 by 30 centimeter square diamond painting with 39 colors and two ABs. Right off, I can see the white AB. What's the other AB? Oh, and the green ABs up here. I think this is so pretty. This is one of those kits that you got as a trial size when the companies were doing um, the four prints and you can pick which print you want and pay eight something for shipping. So this is one of those canvases. I love the way this turned out. I have seen this larger size in their shop, but I'm not sure if they carried it, carry it anymore. But yeah, I love the butterflies and the orchids. So pretty, love it. Butterfly Orchid Fantasy. It's legally licensed from Sandra Trubin. So cute. That's completion number one from Dreamer Design. My second completion from Dreamer Designs is Corgi Nights. Look at those little corgi butts. This is a 50 by 40 centimeter square diamond painting with 18 colors and three ABs. I see a green AB, a yellow, and a white. So cute. It's that Van Gogh design with the little corgi butts. Oh, look at all those white ABs in the corgi butts. <laughs> it makes it shine a little bit. So yeah, this is my second and last completion before I started YouTube from Dreamer Designs. I think it came out so pretty. All right, so Diamond Dots is our next company. Um, this diamond painting is called Snowman Latte. Um, this is 23 colors here. It is a design size is 12 by 12 inch or 30 by 30 centimeter round diamond painting with 23 colors. Now, if you guys can see here, oh, that's really, really wonky. If you guys can see there that um, those drills look different than the other drills is because I ran out of this gray color. <laughs> I ran out of this gray color, so then I had to substitute drills that I had um, in my stash. It's the same DMC number, but between the Diamond Dodge drills and the drills I had in my stash is different. Since you can buy spare diamond dots drills, at this time I didn't know that, I will go and eventually replace this small area because it really bothers me when I look at it. And I think this image is just so cute that that needs to be fixed. So I will eventually fix that before I roll my canvases back up and store them away. So I will order that drill number and replace it so that it looks a little bit better because you can really, really notice that. But I thought he was so cute, Snowman Latte. Um, from Diamond Dots. My second from Diamond Dots is the Tweety Bird. It's called Tweety. It's a 32 by 32 centimeter round partial diamond painting with seven colors. I really like this one and I got this one because my nickname was Tweety when I was a kid and I thought it was so so cute and a little sassy. Can you guess why they used to call me Tweety? <laughs> um, so yeah, this is the second one. It is Tweety from Diamond Dots. Um, 32 by 32 centimeter round diamond painting partial so this blue part is not diamond painted and it's only seven colors all right guys look how beautiful bengal magic is the last diamond painting from diamond dots that i completed before my youtube journey this one is a 14 by 16 centimeter round diamond painting with 22 colors 
I just love the way this turned out. And this is when I, this diamond painting made me fall in love with the diamond dots drills because it was just so satisfying to work up. I did it very, very quickly. And I love like how the ABs look and his whiskers and everything. And of course I love big cats. So this one was right up my alley. And again, I like how Diamond Dots has that printed edge. It gives it a finished look and I don't tend to use washi tape on these. So yeah, this is the third and final Diamond Dots completion for before my journey. All right, guys, so this diamond painting holds a special place in my heart. This is the very first diamond painting that I ever completed. <laughs> it's, it was called Elephants. <laughs> Elephants. It is an Amazon diamond painting. So for Amazon, I completed four Amazon paintings before um, in the beginning of my diamond painting journey. It's called Elephants. It's a 30 by 40 centimeter round diamond painting with 17 colors. I really enjoyed this diamond painting. It was my first one. It's the one that made me fall in love with diamond painting. I loved all the colors here and I just thought it was so fun. And I remember working on this and going back to Amazon and getting those couple more. And then very sh early in my diamond painting career, I found out about Diamond Art Club. So yeah, that's Elephants, my very first completion for diamond painting. My second ever completion of a diamond painting is this one. It was called African American Woman. <laughs> it's from Amazon. It's a 30 by 40 centimeter round diamond painting with 28 colors. I really loved and enjoyed this one. And I remember working on this one and I'm like, I am addicted. I am going to get more of these. I need all of the things. I love her hair and the colors. Yeah, 30 by 40, so super cute, and it's from Amazon. So this one is called Christmas Snowman. It's another Amazon kit. It's from the Upin store. It's a 50 by 30 centimeter round diamond painting with 20 colors. It's the four little snowman. I thought they were so cute. Um, I had fun completing this one. I do remember completing this one. I was at my sister's house and it was Christmas time and they were like, you brought a diamond painting? And I said, yes, yes I did. <laughs> so I really enjoyed completing this. I thought it was really, really cute. The little snowman. I love their little hats, so cute. And yeah, that's completion number three from Amazon. All right, my last completion from Amazon is this one. It is called Schnauzer. Um, it is a 40 by 50 centimeter round diamond painting with 27 colors. This diamond painting was a gift from a dear friend, so I just had to complete it. I thought he was so cute. I love the brightness in the background and then the greenness at the bottom. I think those colors really meshed well. I really enjoyed this diamond painting. I didn't think I would enjoy it as much as I did but it was really enjoyable and I think it came out super cute. Look at his little face, little schnauzer. So yeah, that's the last diamond painting that I have to share from Amazon before my journey. All right, so the next um, company is Timmy Arts. I completed four diamond paintings from Timmy Arts before I started my journey. This first one, <laughs> look how cute. It is called Big Big Eye Owl, Big Eye Owl. It's a 25 by 25 centimeter round diamond painting with 18 colors, 18 colors in this little guy. I thought it was really cute and it was fun to work up. I do remember completing this diamond painting at work. Um, and you look at those ABs. I see yellow and white ABs in the eyes. So, so cute, Big Eye Owl from Timmy Art. My second one here, my washi tape is coming up, is Poppy Flower. It's a 30 by 36 centimeter round diamond painting with 20 colors. I love poppies. Oh, well, I love flowers. <laughs> so I thought this one turned out really, really cute. I do remember working on this and it was really enjoyable. And this is when I really started to like the Timmy Arts because I thought their drills were good quality. One thing about them is that I really like the ABs. Their ABs are a little bit better quality than some other companies. So I really enjoy the ABs. They're more, um, cause ABs tend to be a little irregular. They were more, um, there was less trash in the ABs when it came to the Timmy Arts kits. So yeah, this is my second Timmy Arts. My third one. Oh my gosh, I just love this diamond painting pink tulips <laughs> pink multiple tulips is what this is called it's a 54 by 40 centimeter round diamond painting with 18 colors 
I love this diamond painting. When I first saw it, I'm like, oh my gosh, it was out of stock. And then I waited for it to come back into stock on Amazon and I got it so pretty. I love the tulips. I do see, this is was early in my diamond painting. I do see that there's lots of gapping here in the white and I can fix that now. But yeah, again, this was before I was using the washi tape. So very early on. Um, and yeah, I thought it was so pretty and I love how this came out. Pink multiple tulips from Timmy Arts on Amazon. I got Timmy Arts. I think Timmy Arts has a, their own website, but I got, get all my Timmy Arts diamond paintings from Amazon. So that's where I was getting them from. Oh my gosh, another Timmy Art. The reason why I like Timmy Art so much is because of the drill quality. I really enjoy Look at those AB, so pretty. But they have a lot of flower diamond paintings. And then when I run the flower diamond paintings through the, um, what do you call that? To see if they're licensed, they're like free images. So I'm like, yeah, love it. And look, look at this red flower. Oh my gosh, so, so pretty. This one is called Red and White Tulip. It's a 54 by 40 centimeter round diamond painting with 22 colors, same size as the other one. I do have a couple more Timmy Art flowers in my stash um, and I, I, I'm still gonna work on them. I think this is so pretty. I love the contrast between the red, the brown, and like the pinkish white flowers. I thought it was so pretty. So this is my last completion from Timmy Art, Red and White Tulips. All right, so the next company is Star Or. I completed seven diamond paintings from Star Or. Um, this one, oh my gosh, look how pretty. I love the stained glass look in this one. And this diamond painting is full rhinestone. So Star Or has some mixed drills and full rhinestones and then some with no rhinestones. So this diamond painting is called Lily's Flowers. It's from Star Or and Zagori is legally licensed. Um, 20 colors in this one and the drill size is a 35 by 35 centimeter special drill diamond painting or rhinestone diamond painting if you will so I love how this came out um I always see this one and I want to buy it again because I remember it being satisfying I like doing the outline of the stained glass and then filling it in so yeah diamond paintings like this are really satisfying for me and of course it's super pretty the next star ore that I have is another full rhinestone kit. It's called Sunflower and Butterfly. Look at that. I think it's so pretty with the sunflowers and that butterfly. The drill size is a 30 by 40 centimeter rhinestone diamond painting with 28 colors. I think that's so, so pretty. So pretty. This is another one that I see and I'm like, oh, I want that one again. <laughs> Next, we have Winter Tree by Star Or. Um, it is a 30 by 40 centimeter square diamond painting from Zagori, the same artist with that stained glass look. It is 22 colors in this one. This is, I think this was my first time trying the square from them and I really enjoyed it. So cute. I remember being in Florida when I completed this one. I was on vacation during Christmas time and I, of course I brought some diamond paintings with me and yeah I completed this one on vacation <laughs> so yeah winter tree next we have poppy from star or I really love this one as well this is a 35 by 47 centimeter round diamond painting with 23 colors it has rhinestones ab's and regular drills so this is that mixed drill canvas I love the way it turned out with the little poppies. So cute. And I love the darkness in the background and then the lightness through here. I think it turned out pretty, pretty cute. Poppy from Star Or. Now, Star Or, they have a website, StarOr.com, and they also sell some diamond paintings on Amazon. So I've gotten my Star Or from both places. Puppy time is next. This little puppy reminds me of my Charlie. I completed this diamond painting before I even got my dog, but he looks just just like my dog um <laughs> my washi tape is all like crinkled so I I completed this one for Easter I do remember that look at that little rabbit paw here and then he has on that little bunny ear hat so so cute love it this is a 35 by 58 centimeter round diamond painting with 29 colors look at all of those white ABs throughout that little hat and the ears so so cute I think he's so cute. Puppy time. Next we have Luna Moth. I really, really love this diamond painting. 
Luna Moth from Star War. This is a 42 by 42 centimeter round diamond painting with 28 colors. You see that white AB makes it like illuminate that moth a little bit. I love this one. I think I completed this one for Drills and Chills. There, that year, I completed like three or four Drills and Chills diamond paintings. So this is Luna Moth. I think it turned out really, really pretty. I got this one off the website, I remember, because this one, it was not on um, Amazon. So yeah, I think it turned out great. Luna Moth. So the last diamond painting I purchased from, I completed from Star Or is Harvest Season. I love this diamond painting. It's a 35 by 47 centimeter round diamond painting with 21 colors. I really, really enjoy this diamond painting. I love the reds and the oranges in it. I remember completing it and telling my friend, oh my gosh, this is so pretty. And I loved it so much that I bought one for her. I have one in-person friend that diamond paints and I got her hooked. <laughs> so I did purchase this one for her, I think for one of the Christmases or whatever, but I really, really enjoyed it. And she had never tried Star Wars, so I got that for her. But yeah, it's so pretty. I love the sunflowers and the pumpkin and the colors. And it was really satisfying to work on. Harvest season from Star Wars. All right, guys, so now we are moving on to Diamond Art Club. I completed 35 diamond paintings from Diamond Art Club before I started my YouTube journey. But before I got into the Diamond Art Club portion, I wanted to just say thank you again for joining me on my first year on YouTube. Um, I really, really appreciate all of the support. I've had tons of fun, and I can't wait to see what the next year brings for me. So with that being said, I would like to do a giveaway. Um, this giveaway will be for a $25 Diamond Art Club gift card. So it'll be a virtual gift card. I am so happy and honored to be doing a giveaway because I, like I said, I really appreciate um, my first year on YouTube and I've had tons of fun. So yeah, guys. So in order to um, enter to win this giveaway, all you have to do is be subscribed to my YouTube channel, which I appreciate. Thank you so much. And also tell me down below why you enjoy diamond painting. I want to hear all about what, why you enjoy diamond painting and what's one of your favorite diamond paintings that you've ever completed. Like before I told you guys that one of my favorites is Satara, but now going through all of the diamond paintings that I've completed thus far, which I believe is 127 to date, <laughs> um, I have so many favorites. <laughs> Uh, looking at everything that I've completed I'm like oh my gosh no this is my favorite no this is my favorite so yeah I have so many favorites but I really am enjoying my diamond painting journey and I have so many diamond paintings that I'll be here for a while <laughs> so thank you guys again for joining me on my first year my first year adventure on YouTube and make sure you like this video and be subscribed to my channel and let me know down below what you enjoy about diamond painting and your favorite diamond painting that you completed thus far if you can choose okay guys so this is going to be a little voiceover in my excitement to announce the giveaway in my haste i did not tell you when you have to have your responses in so i will post this video on february 25th and you have one week from that date which will be march 4th so you have until march 4th at midnight eastern standard time to give your responses and i will draw the winner at that time and i will announce the winner for the giveaway in a video or a youtube short on march the 5th at 7 a.m so yes you have until march 4th at midnight eastern standard time for your responses and i will announce the winner on march 5th at 7 a.m in a youtube video or a short thank you guys so much for joining me and thank you for your responses oh so without further ado we'll get back into the video and i will show you the 35 diamond paintings that i completed from diamond art club so these four diamond paintings were a part of that promotion that diamond art club did they had these four prints and you can choose which print you want it and pay the eight dollars for shipping I chose all four <laughs> because I like them all and um, yeah it, it's just to get you to try diamond painting and see if you like it I love it and I'm glad I got all four so the first one and my favorite one 
ish wish grantor i really really love this one i wish they had this one in a bigger size um i think they did when when they first started but um i wasn't diamond painting at that time but i really really love this diamond painting um this is a 22 by 25 centimeter round diamond painting with 19 colors and it's the butterfly on the rocks it's called wish grantor and i love it next we have soulmates this one is a 25 by 20 centimeter round diamond painting with 25 colors. Now they did, I know they did used to have this one in a bigger version. And in that bigger version, you can make out the people. But I think this is a nice diamond painting with lots of confetti. So you can get, so you can get the feel of confetti and know like, do you like confetti or do you not like confetti? I enjoyed this diamond painting. It was tiny. So it did the confetti was just fine for me, even though I was just starting out. But I think it's pretty cute. And of course, there's not a lot of detail because it is a 25 by 20. But I think it came out cute and it's a great start. Next, we have the Four Seasons. This is a 20 by 30 centimeter round diamond painting with 31 colors. So cute. You have all of the seasons here and it was fun to work up. This one. Love this one. Okay. Okay. This one is called Rainbow Rose. It's a 22 by 22 centimeter round diamond painting with 35 colors. Love how this one turned out. I think this is the last one I completed. And at this point, I was hooked, completely hooked. And I bought so much more. So yeah, this is Rainbow Rose. So next we have Blue Summer Wren. This one is really tiny, 17 by 17 centimeter round diamond painting with nine colors. I do remember completing this one at work. That's when I had my desk job. I was diamond painting a ton because I could do what I needed to do on the computer and diamond paint and then take a call and diamond. So you guys didn't need to know all that. But anyway, Blue Summer Rend, really tiny. I completed this in one night at work. Tons of color blocking and it's easy to work up. And I love the little white ABs here. It's not a lot of detail because it's a tiny diamond painting, but it is cute nonetheless. Next we have Rose Music Sheet. This is a 20 by 27 centimeter round diamond painting with 23 colors. This one had one AB in it and I thought it was really cute. So yeah, that's my next completion. Here we are, Butterfly Kiss. This is a, oh, this is their old style. 24 by 24 centimeter round diamond painting with... 33 colors 33 colors I love the little lips and I think it came out really cute with the little butterflies and the lips small diamond paintings to get you through so I love these little small snack size diamond paintings they're super fun and I'm glad now that diamond art club has even more smaller diamond paintings next we have funky pineapple funky funky pineapple this is a 20 by 37 centimeter round diamond painting with 16 colors Love it. Love the blue ABs in here. So cute. Funky pineapple. Next we have Spot. This is a 32 by 38 centimeter round diamond painting. It has 26 colors. It's legally licensed. All of them are legally licensed, by the way. The artist is Eve Izette and super, super cute. <laughs> Thought he was super cute with 26 colors of furry fun. Next we have Black and White. This is a 45 by 32 centimeter round diamond painting with 16 colors. You have all of those white ABs here to look like the snow on the branches and that horse. Deborah Lewis is the artist and I thought this one was super cute and fun to work up. Flower on the Rocks. I really, really love this diamond painting because it has flowers in it, right? <laughs> so this one is a 41 by 33 centimeter round diamond painting with 24 colors. I love the contrast between the dark gray and the blacks and the background and the pink of the flower on the rocks. It makes it pop. That's why I like Wish Grantor because I like things on rocks, I think. <laughs> I think it turned out cute and I love this size of diamond painting. I really, really love this size. Um, 24 colors, 41 by 33, flower on the rocks. All right, here we have Rainbow Flower. I think this one is super pretty. It is a, where is the size? Oh, 48 by 32 centimeter square diamond painting with 39 colors. AB Rainbow Flowers. I think it's really cute. You can see all those ABs throughout. Square drills. 
and it was fun to work up and of course I love all the colors can you paint with all the colors of the wind look how cute surrounded by sunflowers this one is a 51 by 33 centimeter square diamond painting by Lowell Herrero it is 31 colors so in this diamond painting is so cute isn't it the cow with the sunflowers love it um this diamond painting they did not include a color three um three three two five was not in my kit so I did have to order them from another seller um, I do know that you can just message Diamond Art Club and get them right away, but <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> I ordered them from another seller. But yeah, it was fun to work up, and I love how it turned out. Square diamonds. All right, guys, so this is a llama corn. This one is a 41 by 41 centimeter square diamond painting with 35 colors. Um, so this was my first ever square diamond painting. So... <laughs> This is when they had llama corn as a full diamond painting in the background. The white background was diamond painted. I do know after that, this was discontinued and you just diamond painted the llama corn and the white was just, it's a partial drill, I should say. Um, but I purchased this when it was full drill and my first square and I was so frustrated with doing squares. I'm like, I'm never doing squares again. Look at this. So I tried like the checkerboard and this and that, and I just couldn't get it right, but it was my first square. Um, You can see over here, I was really frustrated with it. But I, I mean, standing back, you can't even tell. I don't know why I was like really stressed out about it, but it's so cute. I do remember doing all the white first and then I completed the color. I like the way it turned out. Such a little cutie, llama corn um, with 35 color. Fox Wisdom. This is a 33 by 46 centimeter square diamond painting from Willowing Arts. I love Willowing Arts and I have several of her diamond paintings from Diamond Art Club. I really wish she was still with them because <laughs> I do enjoy her style of art. This is 31 colors and two ABs. Have I been telling you guys how many ABs are in the kits? I hope so. Two ABs here. You have orange. Well, some of the earlier Diamond Art Clubs, the ABs weren't at the top all the time, I noticed. But for this one, it looks like two ABs in orange and pink. And then you have that white background again. I love the little addition of the butterflies on her paintings. So cute. Fox Wisdom from Willowing. I remember when this came out, and I think this is one of the ones that sold out. <laughs> and that was like my first experience with getting a diamond painting that sold out. So yeah, Fox Wisdom. This is just gorgeous, just gorgeous. This is called Sunflower. It's a 42 by 42 centimeter square diamond painting with 27 colors. I love the way this turned out. She's so cute with the sunflowers. Of course I had to get it. I remember um, doing the squares and I'm like, okay, this is a light color background. I need to get these squares right. So my squares were starting to look, to look a little bit better by this time. <laughs> so yeah, sunflower, so pretty. Isn't she so cute? Um, how many ABs is in this one? One, two, three ABs. You have a white, a purple, and an orange. So cute, sunflower. Lady Creole. This is a... 32 by 46 centimeter round diamond painting with 34 colors and looks like one AB, which is that yellow, yellow AB. I really like this one. This is a Mandy Manzano. During this time, Diamond Art Club didn't have the artist on here, but I know this is Mandy Manzano. So I love the way it turned out. This is when I was using cheap washi tape. <laughs> I brought one of those packs from Amazon and it turned out to not work. So anyway, yeah, Lady Creole. I like the way it turned out. She's super cute. 1AB, Mandy Manzano. All right, Tropical Birds. So this is Tropical Birds. Oh, look at that little washi tape that I used, the birds. So cute. This is a 31.5 by 31.5 centimeter square diamond painting. The artist is Patrice Murciano. Um, it has, this is really covered, 36 colors and... One, two, three ABs. Oh, I see green, pink, 
and blue ABs in this one. Tropical Bird. So cute. I do remember I ordered this one and something happened with the shipment. And then they, um, so I had to get it at a later date. But I really, really loved this one at the time. And I couldn't wait to get it and work on it. And I think it turned out super cute. Best Buds. Now, I don't know what it was about this diamond painting, but I really really loved and enjoyed working on it it just you know just seeing the bear with the little bird being gentle I, I don't know it just really made me happy and every time I worked on it I was really really happy I think it turned out really cute best buds it's a 42 by 42 centimeter square diamond painting with 28 colors and I think it turned out super cute there's no ABs in this one but it's just so cute I love the, how the trees turned out and the bear and the little bird. So, so cute. Love it. Best buds. Here we go. Bubblegum Spaniel. This is a 41 by 48 centimeter round diamond painting. Uh, Marilyn Cazenave, Cazenave is the artist. 27 colors. This is a partial drill. So the pink is not diamond painted. You have one AB in this one, which is the white that you see throughout. Look at that little puppy. <laughs> With the little headscarf and the glasses with the bubblegum, bubblegum spaniel. So, so cute. Guys, look at this one. It's bakery. Bakery. So, so pretty. This is a 51 by 41 centimeter square diamond painting. Bailey J. Brazen. Bailey J. is the artist. <laughs> it is 39 colors and looks like 1AB. That white AB here i think it's so cute it's called bakery i love the way it turned out square drills as you can see i kept trying square drills because i'm like i'm not gonna give up now i like squares and rounds but yeah square drill diamond painting and yeah it turned out super super cute the head that wears the crown i completed this one in august one of the augusts either 2022 or 2021 2021 i believe um for Oz and August and it was the cowardly lion the head that wears the crown that's what it represented for me I think it turned out really really cute I love the background colors and then so fierce you don't have to say a word just that stare <laughs> the head that wears the crown this is a 51 by 51 centimeter round diamond painting Mark Alante is the artist it's 44 colors in here with one two ABs what are the ABs this white a B here and then 127 it should be a little pink a B well I don't know where the other oh so this is like a little pink the little pinky areas the pink the little light pink area oh I'm missing a drill I'll have to get that out I save all of my drills so that won't be a problem the little pink looks similar to the white that's why I couldn't find it but yeah the head that wears a crown by Mark Alante next we have the beautiful Satara Satara by Micah Jelena. This one is a 61 by 41 centimeter round diamond painting with 19 colors and one, two AB. So you have that purple and then that white AB. So pretty. I love this one, of course. I told you guys that before. Satara. Hipster Boston Terrier. The artist is Marilyn Cazenave, and it is 18 colors with one white AB here. I remember doing this one, and I thought he was just so, so cute with his bow tie and his glasses. This is a partial drill diamond painting. The green part is not diamond painted at all. I love the fact that they chose this green background for him. I think it's so cute. Hipster Boston Terrier. All right, our next one is Summer Beach Starfish love it love how it turned out so so cute i they re did a really good job with the sand i really like the sand and i love the ab's and the starfish they have to like some orange ab's and white ab's this one is a 66 by 41 centimeter round diamond painting with 38 colors and two ab's so so cute the sky looks lovely as well with the white ab's and the clouds i just think this is a really cute diamond painting and it reminds me of the beach and oh, how I need some beach now with all this cold weather. Summer Beach Starfish. All right, next we have Teal Trees. Now this diamond painting I was on the fence about, 
but I got it anyway because that's when I was just buying all the things right and I really loved working on this one I remember working on this and telling my friend like oh my gosh I really love this one and I'm so happy I got it it was so satisfying to work on um, some of the grids are just really satisfying you know what I mean so this is Teal Trees it is a 62 by 42 centimeter round diamond painting with 18 colors love it love how it turned out golden love this one as well i love them all right <laughs> this is golden a little cute mermaid this is a 47 by 59 centimeter round diamond painting with 28 colors and you have two ABs in this one. You have an orange AB and then the yellow AB here. Love the background in this one. Love how it turned out. It is so cute. Golden. Dressed Up is our next one. We are getting down to the wire. Only a couple left. This is Dressed Up. It's a 42 by 58 centimeter square diamond painting with 33 colors. I think it's so cute love it love the mane here the colors i think it's so pretty dressed up colorful butterfly is our next one it's a partial drill diamond painting it is a 56 by 56 centimeter round diamond painting with 41 colors sharon cummings is the artist i think it's so cute the background here through here and here is not diamond painted it's just that colorful butterfly love this one of course because what i love butterflies this one has one two two ab's you have an orange ab and the blue ab up here i think it came out super cute and i love it color for butterfly oh my gosh <laughs> this one i'm gonna have to take a picture of off the screen and insert it so you can just see how cute it is So this is Young Green Sea Turtle. It is a large diamond painting, 71 by 56 centimeter square diamond painting with 38 colors. Carolyn Steele is the artist. I think this diamond painting is so, so cute. This one took me a long time to complete. I remember doing my master's degree and I was in my master's degree program and it took me four months to complete this one. <laughs> because I had to like stop because I was studying for finals, but I love how it turned out. Look at this turtle, so much detail. Oh my gosh, this is the large, when I completed this one, I was like not really experienced with diamond paintings and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so much. I'm never gonna complete it, but I'm so happy I did. It came out super, super cute. I love it, Young Green Sea Turtle. Oh, look at the purples down here. I love how this turned out. So, so cute. Another huge one. This is Sloth Puzzle. It is a 76 by 56 centimeter round diamond painting with 49 colors. The artist is Gina Jane. We have one, two ABs. How cute are these sloths? And you have some birds here. And it even has butterflies in it. Oh my gosh, I thought this was so, so cute. And this is another one of those large ones that I'm like, oh my gosh, it's never going to get done. But it did, and I'm glad it did because look how cute it is. Another one that I'm going to have to take a photo of off screen so you can just see how cute these little sloths are. I think this is one of my first diamond paintings that I started matching, um, doing the matching cover minders because I found out about like cover minders and all of that so i do remember getting a sloth cover minder and trying to match my pen and all that stuff so yeah all of these kits it's like they have memories for me my diamond painting journey so cute so fun sloth puzzle all right seems i saved all the large ones for last this is autumn walk so cute i love the sky and all the autumn colors and the girl I think it's so cute this is a 56 by 76 centimeter round diamond painting with 48 colors the artist is Olha Durchuk. this has one two ab's i see the yellow ab here and it should be a blue oh throughout her garment here is blue so so pretty i do see lots of gapping areas here um 
I do think I was experimenting with multi-placers at this point. But I can see before I roll this up and store it in my art tube, I am going to even this out with my um, little straightener here. I am going to do that because I see several areas of gapping. But I think it turned out really, really pretty. Autumn walk. So, so pretty. All right, guys, only a couple more. So this one is Butterfly of Paradise. It is a 84 by 56 centimeter square diamond painting with 55 colors and one, two, three ABs. Oh, look at this blue AB. So, so pretty. Love it. And then we have a purple AB here and then a yellow AB. I love all the colors. This is just so pretty. It's huge. So, of course, I'll put a picture of the full completed canvas on the screen for you guys. But this is so, so pretty. And it's a huge diamond painting. I remember working on this one as well. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, never going to complete it. But I did. And it's so, so pretty. Love the washi tape. I use two different types of washi tape here. This huge canvas. So, yeah, Butterfly of Paradise. Yuri Malkov is the artist for this one. Um, I do want to mention that. So, so pretty. All of the colors. I just scraped off a drill. Where did it come from? Oh, right here. Let me replace that really quickly. I need to, this is, I don't think I was rolling out my paintings at this point either. So I need to roll all of these out before I re put them back. All right, so, so cute. All righty, we have Siamese Fighting Fish. Love the colors in this one. Love it, love it, love it. I like, re I remember working on this one as well. So, so cute. This is a 51 by 71 centimeter round diamond painting with 37 colors. And three ABs, I believe. So you have a white AB in the fish here. You have some pink ABs and green. So, so, so cute. Siamese fighting fish. I love the vivid colors in this one. Does it have the artist on here? Oh, Eva Zet. Eva Zet is the artist. So yeah, so, so cute with all of the colors. Guys, are you ready for the last diamond painting? Oh my gosh. Can you guess what it is? It is Swan Lake. Swan Lake is my last Diamond Art Club canvas that I completed before YouTube. Look how cute. Of course, this is a long diamond painting and I will put it on the screen for you guys. I love this one. It's only 12 colors in this diamond painting. Oh, we have some fuzz here. <laughs> 12 colors here. I was really brave when I first started diamond painting, right? It is a 50 Five by 109 centimeter round diamond painting. Claudia McKinney is the artist. 12 colors, one AB. So this is the little white AB here. So cute. Swan Lake. Love the little moon here. And the darkness in the trees. Just a beautiful image. So yes, guys. Thank you so much for joining me for this video and thank you so much for one year of diamond painting fun. This completes my video in the 64 diamond paintings that I completed before my YouTube journey. How many diamond paintings have you guys completed? I've completed 127 diamond paintings altogether and it seems like I worked on a lot of larger diamond paintings when I first started diamond painting. Before I had a YouTube channel, I had more time, right? <laughs> So yeah, guys, that completes my video. Thank you so much for joining me and make sure you enter the giveaway by liking this video, being subscribed to my channel, and let me know down below what you enjoy about diamond painting and your favorite canvas so far. Name a few if you have a few. But yeah, guys, that completes this video. Thank you so much for joining me. If you love diamond painting, crafting, and all things hobbies, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share my videos with a friend. Until then, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.